Hi, it's meteorologist Joe Fury, the Storm Team 8 Weather Center. It's amazing how when you don't have something for a while, you appreciate it a little bit more when it comes back. And that, of course, was the sunshine and blue sky on this sixth day of October. Yeah, five days in a row with gray skies. And of course, we had some much needed rain in there, which was good. Temperatures were close to five degrees below average for the first five days of October. And five days cloudy in October. Well, you know what? We only had five totally cloudy days in all of July and August. So, so yeah, it was not a, uh, a common start to October. October usually is a month outside of tropical weather systems uh, that gives us the most number of clear days. Of course, it was a remnant tropical system that delivered the rain for us yesterday, one to three inches around the state. Yes, that was once catastrophic Ian. And well, yeah, now it's uh, going to be a cold front that comes through here as we go into Friday evening. That really will just set us up for some awesome autumn weather for this uh, October weekend. So we're, we're, you know, we're doing the kind of weather we expect. Today was perfect. I had a perfect, awesome time with the second and third graders at the Clinton Avenue School in New Haven. I was there with the Storm Team 8 Mobile Weather Lab. The kids were fantastic. The teachers were amazing and uh, couldn't ask for a, for a better day all the way around. So guys, thanks so much. Clinton Avenue School, New Haven, uh, awesome place. Those are awesome numbers in the thermometer today. 76 at Hartford and Meriden, 77 at Wyndham, 73 New London, 73 at Tweed, New Haven. By the way, the average high for this time of year is about 67 and the average low is in the mid 40s. Uh, so there is a cold front that is uh, crossing in the Great Lakes. There is a little quasi warm front or what I like to call the dew point front. That's the reason why there'll be more clouds overnight tonight. The temperature will stay in the 50s to around 60. So it's kind of a mild night and not much of any moisture from that. There could be a sprinkle late tonight. Could be an awesome sunrise tomorrow morning around 7 p.m. The sun goes down now at about 624 tomorrow. And the idea for tomorrow, get right back in the 70s. You may notice it's a little more humid as we go through the day tomorrow. The wind will pick up a little more in the afternoon as well. And here comes the cold front into late afternoon and evening. Can't roll through in a passing shower into tomorrow evening. Mainly dry if you're heading out to Friday night football. You want to make sure you have that sweatshirt or jacket because uh, the wind will be there and the temperature will be dropping into the 50s fast. And there is a chance for the widely scattered shower overnight tomorrow night in Southern Connecticut uh, with some clouds rolling by. The front's not getting by that fast. 40s to start Saturday. Highs in the mid upper 50s on Saturday. It should be mostly sunny. There will be some clouds mixed in. There will be a breeze out of the northwest at 10 to 25. It's just awesome autumn weather. It's fall in southern New England. And highs in the upper 50s and low 60s for a super Sunday. And, well, yeah, it looks like the dew point tomorrow could go into the low 60s. That's not humid, but you may notice the difference there from today. And then dew points are in the 30s as we head into Saturday. Checking the tropics. It is quiet. And we want it to stay that way. The eight day forecast, there's no significant rain in the eight day forecast other than somebody catching a shower into tomorrow evening. Nothing in the forecast until the end of next week. So 70s on Friday, it's breezy, it's warm, it's a little more humid. It's another great day to be out and about. And again, if you're going out and about tomorrow evening, say to a Friday night football game, you, you want to make sure you have the jacket because it will cool off fairly quickly. But overall, pretty nice. Saturday and Sunday should feature a good deal of sunshine. Temperatures mid 50s to low 60s. Again, uh, just autumn the way it's supposed to be. Overnight lows 30s and 40s. And then early next week, it looks like, uh, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Highs in the low mid 60s. We could call it seasonable, but it should be. The sun is out. Easy going weather. Uh, so, yeah, we had five days in a row cloudy gray and wet at times. Now it's a nice stretch of bright and uh, overall awesome fall weather with one warm day in there and that's going to be again on friday all right again on friday morning gil is here with the very latest update i hope you're feeling well bye